As the crowd continues to file in, we get set to bring you another exciting game. Thanks for joining us. These two teams are ready to go, and it should be a great one as the Texans get set to take on the Oilers. Welcome to the game. Al Michaels and John Madden here broadcasting live. So pull up a chair and relax because this is going to be a good one. Boy, the defense has shown in the past how dominant they can be. They're very aggressive, and it seems like all 11 guys are always around the ball. When you have guys flying around, making hits, causing turnovers, it creates a lot of problems for the offense. The Oilers will need their running game to be at its best, otherwise they could be in for a long day. The best way to neutralize a good defense is by running right at them, so look for this back to get a lot of carries early on. They'll also use the run to set up a few long throws if they see that that safety is creeping up to the line of scrimmage. Look at them down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. Heck, they're already hitting each other. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. The teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one. A great kick. He decides not to return this one. The offense is heading out onto the field for their first drive of the game. Only one man back. Set, hut. Put it off the track. Great read by the defensive line there, John. They knew exactly what was coming. And knowing what they like to do out there comes from lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, third and long, second and short, it really gives you an edge on defense. Ball on the 19-yard line. Under pressure, looking for an option with the pass. Stiff arm to the ground. Number 89 did a nice job tracking that ball down. Yeah, he did a nice job of putting that pass where only his receiver could make that catch. Number 20, the lone back. Come on, D up. D up. The hut. Lose it, lose it. Number 87 goes in motion. Drops back, closing in. He surveys the field, rolls right, rolling out to his right. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Plenty of pressure, and he barely gets the pass away. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. Jackson into return. Here's the catch. He's waving for the fair catch. Let's see if they can turn this first drive into points. Good matchup today. One of the best quarterbacks in the league taking on one of the toughest defenses. Now defensively here, John, what do you think they're thinking? Well, I think they're going to have to shut down those short slant routes and deep outside corners first. Force your offense to throw short and over the middle. Let your big hitters make those wide receivers think twice. Just about a three-yard gain there. the defender to the ground. Running back picks up about four yards. It's third down, two to go. They'll get it again. Haynes picks up just enough to convert. First down coming up after that run. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. The Texans using motion. They give it to the halfback. Hey, couldn't find any room on that one. They really hustle on the defensive side of the ball. They're very good at clogging up the line, limiting the number of holes and cutback lanes that the back has to choose from. 
Dawson gets set. Cross play to the right. Might have lost a step in the toss. Houston comes out in the quarter defense. Dropping back. He surveys the field with the throw. Incomplete pass. An incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Time to call the special teams play. Wilson lines up in the backfield for the punt. Number 23 sets up to run back the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. He did the right thing. Concentrated and caught the ball. If you notice him coming up in the run, use some play action. Those defensive backs will take a step forward, and that should be all your speed receiver needs to burn him. Directing traffic. Number 44. In motion. Number 20. Just about two yards on the run by the halfback. Follow your blocking on this run. When you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. Pressure with the throw, and he hits his receiver. He was able to hit his target, picking up the first in the process. And that's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. Set. Sideline to sideline. Three. Calling an audible. Blue, 25. Check him out. Using yeah. motion. They give it to the halfback. Number 20. Didn't have much to work with on that one. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them off sides. Let's go. Come on. Stay after it. up. Pressure coming. With the pass, hits him in strong. He's taken down at the 45. This is a play that you need. Trust your quarterback to make a good throw here. Third and five. Ball on their own 45. Under pressure, picked off. The defender was all over that one. That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. So after the interception now, it's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. It's the toss to the right. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. Here's a good defense for this situation. The Oilers come out in a nickel package. 41 yard line. Here come the heat. Let's go. Come on. Set. Receives the handoff. Rowan. Interception. Here's Mother. Across midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. And he showboats his way toward the end zone. Touchdown. Oilers. Number 23 was able to move into position and pick it off. That's just a case of the quarterback locking on to his primary receiver on that play. He'll get set for the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Not a bad kick. They'll set up for the return. Penalty marker down. Legal procedure on the kicking team. Well, they tried the directional kick, but it goes out of bounds. The return team is going to have good position after that one, and they didn't even have to worry about running it back. Gets the call. Gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass brings up second down. Here's a good defense for this situation. Eagle left. 
using motion. Ball on the 40-yard line. Play that play, baby. Tucks it away. Bad. Got very good penetration there. Hank was stuck on that play, John. They're just relentless when the offense decides to run the ball. They break down blocks very quickly. And they do a good job maintaining their gap assignments, limiting cutback opportunities. Drops back. Closing in. Gets the pass off. The 40. Sheds the pass. Perfect pass. Great catch. And that'll move the chains. <laughs> this defense will stop them for sure. Ball on the 28-yard line. Hit him up. We'll see. Set. 94. Hit him low. Pass play here on first down. On the ground. Brings the tackle. And it looks like there's a penalty on the play. On the offense. That won't help them. I don't think that was part of the game plan. A smart coach would call this defense. From the gun. Ball on the 40-yard line. Dropping back pass on the first down. Rowing. Picked off. It's intercepted. Has room. The pass rush had a lot to do with that interception. That's exactly what happened out there. He felt the rush coming, and he was coming so fast that he threw it up for grabs, and he paid for it. I'm sure that he wished he had that one back as soon as he let it go. Number 20, the deep man. Looks like he's changing the play. Man in motion. He gets the count. Tackle at the 35-yard line. So it's a 15-yard penalty, not the incidental five-yard face man. He's lucky his head's still on the way he got yanked down there. The backs are lined up in an eye. Fire out! Hawk by right! Landon with a man in motion. Number 20. Number 20. Couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Dropping back, pressure, throwing. Incomplete pass. The incomplete pass brings up third down. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Come on, get up. Set. Drops back, pressure coming, looking downfield. Great form on the defensive coordinator. And this is the type of team that likes to blitz to create pressure. They'll call the cover two or cover three on passing downs a lot of time, but they also like to bring extra guys on blitzes trying to mix it up. Landon comes into the game to try the field goal. It's good. Kickoff team lines up. He got all of that one. Their last drive ended with a pick. And the offense right now ready to call their first play on this drive. Number 88, the motion man. With the throw. Number 84 ran a nice route on that pass play. These days, offenses rely on a short, quick pass, and the receiver gained lots of yards after the catch. Houston has started off quickly as the first quarter comes to an end with a score 10. Zero. And we're ready to start the second quarter. They line up in the I formation. Set. Cowboy. Huh. Get in there, Ron. Huh. Here come the heat. Huh. 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 
Send it off to the back. Ooh, what a stiff one. Payne picks up just enough. On the offense. The penalties come down to discipline and maintaining it on the field. And the offense didn't show much discipline there. Now, smart coach would call this defense. After the penalty, it's now second and long. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Fumble! The Texans dive on the fumble. A very timely recovery by the offense. That guy was right there to make the recovery. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. The backs are lined up in an eye. All on the 32-yard line. Bring the pain! We'll get the ball again. Hank couldn't pick up any blocking on that play. The defense is always very aggressive when defending the run. They're extremely disciplined. They get off their blocks very quickly. Makes it tough to find openings when you're running the ball. Give it off again. They'll mark it at the 35-yard line. The running back gets about three. Throwing, and he hits his target, and he stopped at the 47-yard line. This play might work. First and 10. Ball on their own 47. Haynes makes the handle. Fires it out to the left. The quarterback thought he had that one. You got to deliver the ball out there quickly, but it has to be catchable. You got to use some touch. Dropping back, again with the run, running with purpose. A yard, maybe two on the count. They need seven. Ball at midfield. Crosses it out to the right, refuses to go down. Hank was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. Number 23 is the deep return man. Here's the punt. Fair catch. There was no need to try and return that one. So he made the right decision there. They'll take over at the 13-yard line. First and 10. Lander sets up. Pass play here on first down. Looking for a receiver. Here's an open. Second and short, upcoming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with the play fake and look for something deep, or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. Out of the shotgun. Ball on the 22 yard line. Yep, out. Gets rid of it, and this pass is complete. Nice pass and good catch on that play. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoking the ball. Get behind those big old linemen and let them do their work. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Set! Tiger up! Passing on first down. Good play in the backfield. I mean, the blitz worked to perfection. The defense loves to bring extra rushes from all over trying to create pressure. Obviously, they'll have to make some adjustments to their protection scheme to prevent plays like that. Landon gets set. Using motion. Under pressure with the pass. He has it down the sideline. You talk about great concentration. Watch him. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 49 yard line. You got it. Bust this grill, Keith. Seven, Looks like he's 16. calling an audible. Number 81. The man in motion. Get at him, Keith. Huh. Give it to the halfback. <laughs> Carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Keep the defense guessing. Don't forget to use misdirection and play action to keep them off balance on passing down. You'll see. Man, no move. Set. Man in motion. Again, he'll get the call. <laughs> Running back picks up about four yards. Third and a deuce. Ball on the 41 yard line. Seventh play of this drive. Directing traffic. Smith in motion. Gets the toss to the right. He has some room. At the 30. Beautiful run there. You know, that's exactly how you handle a team that likes to blitz. You run the ball right at him, right there, and then right through him. Dropping back, closing in, throws it, and he makes the grab. They'll mark it at the 10. The rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw. He got the blitz and he got rid of the ball very quickly. This is the kind of guy you love to have behind center. The kind of guy that won't get rattled when he feels a big rush coming. Landa, see something in the defense. Using motion. Give it off. They couldn't get anything going through the middle. You know, it was because the defense filled all the gaps. Back was looking for a place to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the gaps, bringing them down for a loss. And this is the 10th play of this drive. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. Set. Man in motion. Crosses it left. Gain of about one. Number 44 moves in motion, going to the right. Flag down. Flipping on the offense. They're moving in the wrong direction. A play like that will just kill a coach. You're trying to put a drive together, and then boom, something like that happens. And we'll see if the kicker can come through with a field goal here in the first half. The kick is up. Splits the uprights and good. No hesitation by the coach there, and he's rewarded by his kicker's second successful attempt. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the two. And they're about ready to get this drive started after the last series ended with a punt. The Oilers come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. With the throw, this one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll need a good pickup here to make their way further downfield, or they'll have to face a third down situation. Pressure, throwing, and he 
hits his target. A good, strong throw by the quarterback on that pass. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. Third and short, and with timeouts left, they might just try to pound this one up the middle and pick up the first down. And off to the tailback. It's on the ground. The Texans. They got that one back. They just dodged a bullet on that one. Now they have to do a better job of hanging on the ball because they might not be so lucky the next time. So what we're looking for here is whether one of his knees hit the ground before the ball came out. And sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. The ruling on the field is overturned. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, but most of the times they're right. Wilson will come into this game to punt. Number 23 lines up deep for the punt return, and he chooses not to return this one. Hey, no reason to take a chance and risk a fumble. Smart move there by the returner. Landon sets up. Pass play here on first down. Pressure coming. Rolling out to his right. And he's walked down in the backfield. There was nothing open downfield, resulting in a big sack. This team loves to play zone and pass guard. They'll use the cover two on just about any play. Relying on the defensive front to create pressure on the quarterback. They'll blitz every now and then to change things up. That's usually inside the 20-yard line and keep the offense off balance. Throwing short to his left. He had too much on that pass, John, as it sailed over everybody. That pass was thrown with so much velocity on it that the receiver never caught up with it. Since they haven't done much the first two downs, they might not want to force it here because it could easily lead to a turnover. A simple run will do the job, and if the defense doesn't stop the clock, it will be a halftime. Looking for a receiver, under pressure, unleashes the deep ball. Incomplete pass. A smart coach to shoot the ball here. Set. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the kick. He signals for a fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left. So they just need to prevent him from getting into field goal range. Number 19 goes in motion. Let's go, come on. To the air on first down. Rowing. And it's complete. Dallas calls a timeout. They have one left. Dawson showed his strong arm and lightning release on that throw. That's just a display of great hand shown by that receiver. The throw was a little off the mark, but he got his fingertips on it and brought it in for the catch. Give it all you got, Keith. Come on. This pass is incomplete. The Texans line up in the shotgun. The corners are backing off. The Texans using motion. With the throw, with the catch. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Houston, 13. Dallas, 0. Dallas, nothing. And welcome back. As we get set for the kickoff, here's a look at the halftime stats. Sends it soon. From the four-yard line. Slips the tackle. Sheds the tackle. The Texans will start this drive from the 30. Try this ball here. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 30. Payne in the backfield. Closing in. Gets the pass off. It brought the heat, but it was a good throw. That's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him, and he showed great composure, taking the right read and hitting his receiver. off to the back and he picks
picks up just enough for the first. So he works his way past the marker for a first down. Houston looking for pass with only three down line and seven DBs. And he's tackled behind the line by number 22. They were waiting for him as he tried to take it to the outside. And that run started off going east and west, which isn't bad. But then it got worse and it went south. Bring the pain. Drops back, aims it off. Down he goes at the 37. Just about a yard of the run. Dawson from the shotgun, using motion. Looking for an option. Rolling right, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle by number eight. He dumps the quarterback for a loss, his first sack. Time to call the special teams play. Number 23, sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the punt. They'll spot this one where it went out. Throw this one to your halfback. Get it to him early and let him make some moves. Number 44, moves in motion on the ground. Pickup of about a yard in the run. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Set. Fire out. Hut. Hut. Drops back. Pressure. Scramble. Gets rid of it. Pass was incomplete. That deep pass went right through the receiver's hands. Even though that pass was incomplete, that kind of pass stretches the defense, softening up the middle for passes underneath, while allowing the running game to take advantage of a little more room at the line of scrimmage. Gets the pass off. Wood displayed excellent anticipation. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Here's the catch. Fair catch. This one goes out of bounds. Give this one a shot. They line up in the I formation. Set. Hit him low. Crosses it out to the right. Just about two yards in the run by the handsman. You should stop it with this play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 36. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 36 yard line. Is that all you got? Looking up field. Nice play for Pass Incomplete pass. Number four. Got his hands up and tips the pass away. He has a great feel for defending the pass. He always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Dropping back. Throws it. Burns. He has it. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. Dawson gets set. Number 84. The motion man. Fumble. The Texans. And so the offense is fortunate to recover its own fumble. You always need to be awake out there. You never know when this type of thing is going to happen. Dawson gets set. The corners playing off a bit. Couldn't even get out of the backfield. This defense is extremely active and effective up front. 
They do a good job of getting upfield quickly, creating havoc in the backfield. Misdirection plays and draws can be a good way to use their speed and aggressiveness against them. Houston is trying to prevent anything long here and backs up the corners and safeties. Rosa, this pass is incomplete. Fourth down, upcoming after that incomplete pass. They're going to bring in the punt team for the fifth time so far. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into coverage. Set. Red. Changing the play yeah. now. That's all you. Pressure coming. Scrambling. With the throw. What a catch. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Houston. An amazing play that goes the distance. I'll tell you, when he got into the open, there wasn't anyone who was going to catch it. That just shows the quick strike ability these guys have. They can put up points from anywhere on the field. Landa comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way, and the extra point is good. Easy to sum up that drive. One play for the touchdown. Here we are talking about what they need to do on offense, and boom, they go the distance on their very first play. <laughs> I guess it's safe to say that they don't need our advice. It's on its way. From the two-yard line. The Texans face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 20 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 20. Miller, the man in motion. We got motion. We got motion. Let's go. Come on. Aim. Kept it on the ground, picks up about seven. This defense looks good. Nickelback in this time. Ball on the 28 yard line. With the pass, and he makes the grab. They complete the pass for the first down. That showed awareness by the receiver. He knew just where he had to go to get the first down, crossed the marker, and then looked for more. Hand it off. Only a yard by the halfback. The Texans line up in the shotgun. Set. Get to the ball. Get all done. Drops back. Looking for an option. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. That incomplete pass will bring up third down. short of the marker and can't convert. You know, when it's third and so many yards, why the heck would you run a pass pattern that was short of the first? Makes no sense to me. Wilson is looking for a good punt here. Number 23, looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the punt. Into the end zone, touchback. Watch where there's movement up front. Look for the hole and send your man into the secondary. Tackle at the 20. Just about a yard in the run. Don't let those guys intimidate you. Get out there and run it down their throat. Nickelback in this time. Changing the play now. Number 20. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. All right, you're real close. Run the ball and get that first down. 
Third down and three coming up. Ball on their own 27. Pressure. He surveys the field. The catch on the run. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Set. Pressure coming with the pass. It's his receiver in stride. Lambert delivered that one with just the right amount of touch. He's one of those guys who's extremely accurate with his passing. His receivers rarely have to make any adjustments in their routes to come up with a ball. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Oilers ahead of the Texans. 20-0. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Calling an audible now. Yellow, 74. Man in motion. Gets the toss to the left. Loses the defender. The 40, the 30, the 20. He's finally brought down at the 16. All right, you made it this far. Now pound the ball into the end zone. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. Number 20, the lone setback. First and 10. Ball on the Looks like he's calling an audible. Blue, 16. The Oilers using motion. Number 20. Branch records the tackle at the 14. Look for your guy in the corner of the end zone and let it go. Directing traffic. Lambda sends a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. Number 20. Couldn't find an opening and was brought down very quickly. Yeah, he was. This line has to do a better job of holding up at the point of attack. He has a fast first step. He can explode through the hole. But he needs a line to create that little crease or cutback lane to break free. off that short pass off the mark and it's now fourth down you better kick it here land heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt and it's up the try is good three field goals today again rewarding the coach for his faith Here's the kickoff team. And he got all of that one, a great kick. He takes a knee. The Texans need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 20 yard line. Number 84, the motion man. it off. Tackle at the 22. Picks up maybe three on this count. Second and eight coming up to you. Ball on their own 22. Rowan turns. He has it. 40. Big time play by number 88. You're talking about making it look easy out there. He caught that and he made it look very easy. on the 48 yard line. Drops back, handed off to the back, and he's brought down at the 48. The running back gets about three. They need six. Ball on the 48-yard line. Go! 
Dawson sets up, dropping back, looking for a receiver, gets rid of it, and he gets his card. Number 88 is doing a good job finding the open area in the coverage, and that's his third catch. Throwing. The pass was incomplete. They tried throwing for the first, but the pass was dropped. The offense executed the play just the way it's drawn up. The receiver just couldn't get it under control. Press coverage on the outside. Dawson gets set. Aimed it off to the back. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go for it here. Landon, directing traffic, using motion. They give it to the halfback. What a stiff one. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. The Oilers line up in the shotgun. to the left. Uh, he has room. He zipped that one right in there. That's just a great job by the receiver. Not only was he able to make the catch in the rocket, but he was able to pick up some nice yardage too. Bust this wheel, Keith. Bro, bro. Set up. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Get at him. Ain't got nothing. Do it up. Under pressure, he's looking with the throw. Second down of coming after that incomplete pass. Watch for a hole to open up the middle and send your guy through it. Set. Number 87 comes in motion. Throwing short to his left. Breaking free. Landon is known throughout football for his precision and accuracy, John. And with good reason. You talk about accuracy, hitting spots and leading receivers. He can do it all. And he makes it look so easy, too. I really like watching him play. Falling an audible now. Yellow, 16. Blue, 74. Smith moves in motion. Crosses it out to the right. Breaks free. Puts it on the ground. The Texans recover it. Great play by the defense to create and then recover the fumble. And that's just great awareness. This goes to show you that you can never let up out there. You've got to keep your legs moving and your eyes open until you hear that whistle. Man in motion. Hand off to the tailback. Breaks the tackle. He loses it. The Texans at the offense recovers its own fumble. Yeah, that's a heads-up play. You always need to keep your eyes open because you never know when something like this is going to happen. Closing in, looking for a receiver with the pass, and he makes the grab. They convert for the first down on that throw. What a throw. He put everything he had into that one. Dawson sets up, dropping back and pass on first down. Gets rid of it. The pass falls incomplete. They got pressure that time, and the quarterback pays the price. And he's lucky he was able to get rid of it, but he has to be careful. Passes like that can make for some easy interceptions. Gets the pass off. Great throw. And he's brought down at the 35-yard line. Number 32 was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. The Oilers come out of the quarter defense. And the late handoff goes for Bobby York. The Oilers are expecting pass as they line up with seven defensive backs. Lose it! Lose it! Drop back, drop. Hey. Looking for a receiver. Pump faking. So they'll lose yardage on that tackle. 
and the quarterback gets dunked for the snap. His receiver might have had a step to the outside. The rush got to him just before he could get rid of it. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. Bring the pain. Houston is trying to prevent anything long here and backs up the corners and safety. Pressure slings it to the outside. Number 88 is doing a good job this afternoon, contributing his fourth catch of the game. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. The 30. That'll be 15 yards, no question. You see what he did was he grabbed it and he held on to it and he tried to bring him down with it. Now, if he would have just grabbed it and let go, it would have been a five-yard penalty. Two-minute warning coming up. Passing on first down. Throws to the end zone. Miller dropped a sure touchdown on that play, John. Usually he's pretty reliable around the goal line. And they really do like to go to him whenever they need a big catch. He just got to do a better job of watching the Get ball the into his hand. They're going to make the quarterback keep throwing because it's the only way that they have a shot at coming back. Penalty marker down in the field. Dead ball. Let's, let's start on the offense. Reynolds came out of his stance a little early on that play. That guy went into his block a little early. Looks like the defense really has him on their heels today. Second and 15. Ball on the 17-yard line. Set. Take him out. Hut. 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 Hit him low. He's looking. Pressure coming with the throw. He hits his receiver. Touchdown, Dallas. He tossed the ball to the receiver for the touchdown. That was a great pass by the quarterback. He delivered that ball where only his receiver could make the catch. Number 10, running with purpose. They fail on the two-point conversion. It's really hard to score that close to the goal line. The defense knows you're coming and stacks the line with all their big guys. Onside kick. And they don't recover. The Oilers will start the drive from the 44. All you need to do here is run some clock. Run the football up the middle. Number 44 goes in motion. Came up to the tailback. And the halfback picks up about three. Get this one to your halfback and let him drive it in the middle. Melt this drive for all it's worth. Seven. Calling an audible. Yellow, 45. Give it all you got. Here come the heat. Fire out. You got him. You got him. Come on. Key up. The Oilers Three. using motion. Five. Number 20. About a two-yard gain here. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around, because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. Get in there, Set. Three. Directing traffic. Number 81 comes in motion. Hand it off to the back. Number 56 got very good penetration there. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Let's get back to the action on the field. Now a look at tonight's horse trailer player of the game. 
Landa leads the field goal team into the game for the attempt. And it's on its way. And the kicker got all of that one. That timely kick is his fourth field goal of the game. And the kickoff team comes out onto the field. Number 45, back deep to return. Booming kick downfield. He takes a knee. He took a knee in the end zone, and they'll start the drive at the 20. So they have first and 10 here. Hit the ball. Get at him, Steve. Get in there. Dawson, Steve get up. set. Got all you got. You got him. Pass play here on first down. Gets the pass off. Catch made on the run. The defense, I think, gave him too big of a cushion on that play. If you're going to sit back there in the zone, there are bound to be some holes in the pass coverage. Good quarterbacks will take advantage of that, using short passes underneath to move the ball. Using motion. Dropping back. Stepping up. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. Number 22. Got a hand up and tip that pass away. He has to do a better job of looking off the coverage before he makes a throw like that. The corners playing back. The Texans line up in the shotgun. Surveying the field. Steps up. Rowing. This pass is incomplete. This one is over, so they might as well just punt it away. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. And the clock runs out. The final score is Houston 26, Dallas 6. Dallas 6. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.